stocks closing out the week at record highs. A stronger than expected jobs report. 217,000 jobs added. The unemployment rate holding at 6.3%. But don't get comfortable, says Peter Schiff, the CEO and chief global strategist for Euro Pacific Capital. Peter, good to have you with us. Uh, and you remain, despite all of the glories on Wall Street uh, and in the stock market, you remain, well, let's say negative in outlook. Is that correct? Well, sure. The stock market is a function of the quantitative easing of all the cheap money. But that same cheap money is really making it impossible for the U.S. economy to create the kind of jobs, quality jobs, that most Americans need. You know, we have regained numerically the jobs that were lost since the beginning of the Great Recession, but they're not the same jobs. The jobs that we're creating pay a lot less than the jobs that were destroyed. In fact, many of them are part-time jobs. And so not only are Americans earning less with their new jobs, but consumer prices have gone up quite a bit since 2007. So for most people, even if they have jobs, they're seeing a big decline in their standard of living. A big decline in the standard of living. Uh, there has been some, I think it's fair to say, bifurcation uh, on unemployment, on wealth in this country that is, uh, is certainly troubling to, to all of us uh, who want to see growth, prosperity return to our middle class and to, to the economy uh, at large. Uh, what's going to be required in your judgment uh, to restore that prosperity, job creation, wealth creation, uh, in, in prosperity itself. Well, the free market is the only way to restore that, and the government has to get out of the way and, and let it work. Unfortunately, they won't allow that. They're too concerned about propping up banks or propping up the stock market or the real estate market. They're interfering with a legitimate recovery. Meanwhile, look at our labor force. There's almost 13 million people now not in the labor force relative to the beginning of the recession. The labor force participation rate at 62.8 Right. is the lowest it's been in more than 35 years. Right. Uh, so we have this huge uh, you know, group of unemployed Americans that have permanently left the labor force. Uh, all, we've barely created enough low-paying jobs just to accommodate the increase in population. You know, and I think startling to all of us is that there are 7 million, 7 million fewer Americans working today than when President Obama took office. Now, this is not a reconciled or... Uh, corrected uh, imbalance in our economy uh, uh, at all. And you know, Lou, a lot of people try to say, well, it's because uh, of the retiring baby boom, but that's not where the jobs are being lost. In mm -hmm. fact, a lot of older people are holding on to their jobs because they can't afford to retire. In fact, many retirees are back in the workforce even though they don't want to be there. It's the young people uh, that can't get jobs, and a lot of them are so loaded up with college mm -hmm. debt and they majored in, in nothing, they don't have any real skills, they've moved back in with their parents. Very quickly, your outlook for this economy this year, these markets, in 30 seconds if you can. Well, I think the economy continues to deteriorate you know, beneath the surface. You have the superficial rise in the stock market, but I think this whole thing is headed to a dollar crisis. We're gonna print so much money to try to keep this phony economy going destroy the dollar and we're going to have a real crisis. But only after that real crisis do we have any hope of correcting the problems. But it's not going to come from the government. Again, the government has to get out of the way. This economy needs to restructure. We need to have savings. We need to have investment. We can't keep borrowing, spending, and printing money because that's a rep recipe for disaster, not economic growth. Peter Schiff, not often that we agree. Uh, I happen to agree with those recommendations entirely. Peter Schiff, thanks so much.